waiting on Rob. Just waiting on Robbie. I've never done this before. Can you guys hear the audio? Can you hear me? Yes, Rob. There. Ben McLeod. Robbie Stabler. <laughs> Good morning, dude. Uh, it's 3 o'clock here. Yeah. It's 12 o'clock here. Is Parks here? He's, he's, on, he's on the uh, text chat. All right, Parks, you just got to tap in when you want in, and then I'll get off. Tell, me, look, something. Tell me something, Ben. Do I look tan? Yeah, you look tan, dude. Do I look red? Oh, look at that, dude. What am I wearing? I'm wearing the one-by-one one shirt. Oh, shoot. So, Ben, it's been quite a while. Uh, it's been... Since uh, March 9th. What day is it? September 7th? 6th? Yeah. Somebody just said Ben, ben looks great. <laughs> That's great. This might be the, the lamest live video of all time. You sound like a robot. Do I? You look like a robot, Ben. What are these people asking? What are they saying? Uh, somebody asked if one by one is going to be a vinyl release. That was a, we almost got in a fist fight over that. We did. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was not yeah. A moment. Yeah, I wanted to be on a vinyl. We tried. We, we tried, tried to put it on this album. But we, we did not want it to be a double LP because double LPs need to be banned. Because they cost so much money. They're expensive and it's annoying. That's just how I feel. Effervescent vinyl repress. Dude. I don't know. Probably. Yes. Yeah, yeah for good. sure. For sure. A lot says good tone. Is uh, Parks is coming. Don't worry. Um, how, uh, Rob, how's the weather out there? Dude, it's over 100 degrees. Oh, my gosh. How's the weather there? It's beautiful. It's Florida. It's perfect. It's great. The water okay. is... You're in a good what? part of Florida. I said you're in the, a good part of Florida. The ocean is 88 degrees right now. There are sharks every six feet. Every six feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All what right. What would you guys be doing behind the scenes pics and videos of making nothing as the ideal? We already did it. We just haven't shown anybody. <laughs> what, when are you going to put all that out? Uh, I don't know. It's a lot of work. I'm going to send it to Joe. Is Joe on here? Uh, he's probably. Probably Kurt, on there. Uh, Kurt wants to know if you're surfing. I saw some pictures of you surfing. Yeah. I surf every day, sometimes twice a day. My Catch life you. is drastically different now. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, uh, the whole album is great. Thank you. Does everybody like it as much as we do? Waiting for answers. We 
Maybe she couldn't figure band camp. So I can't read that one anymore. That one's gone. I can't read any of these, dude. I know there's there's they're, they're too fast. Um, let's see. Where are we going on tour? I don't know. It's a great question. Yeah, I don't. E I don't even want to say the alleged plans for when it's when it's supposed to happen because uh, no no one can say. So I don't. I don't want to disappoint anybody. Same, because then we'll just disappoint ourselves as well. I know. I can't. I can't believe that we haven't seen each other since the ninth. This is the first time I've seen your face since then. No, we had a uh, a record label Zoom meeting. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, forgot about that. There's one more record that just came out. Did you see that? Forty five. That's a, a double. A forty five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For all the audio files. Um, hard drive is for when will rats and ruin video be released as soon as parks sends me his footage so I can finish editing it parks waiting it's done uh, can so I get a part yeah somebody somebody wants a birthday shout out happy in birthday. North Carolina happy birthday North Carolina uh, today is the birthday of North Carolina and I've been there uh, many times had a very weird experience in a Denny's on a Sunday morning. I won't talk about it. I slept in in a Whole Foods parking lot on our first weekend run and thought I was going to freeze to death. I was uh, sleeping next to you. Yeah. That was Park, Park says he has it with him. He must have the footage. Nice. All right. What is his favorite part about recording the album? Um going balls to the walls like we were playing a show putting that same energy out that was fun do you do the crossroad walk no nope um is rob's dream an homage to led zeppelin's no quarter yes yes absolutely Durr. yeah duh <laughs> <laughs> Dude, is the pope catholic insane i gotta create a fake shade thing for me uh somebody would everybody likes the song 41 i gotta be honest me me parks and rob were the most concerned about that song yeah. that's funny so that's cool it's cool that everybody likes it that song, makes me happy that song exists because of rap music i'm just gonna say that what'd you say i said that song exists because of rap music because I was listening to rap music and making and recording drums while I was playing it, and that's how that demo started. Um, See you next fall was based, it, it was a it's a forty five minute jam that I cut down after we got back, cut it down into ten minutes. So maybe one day we'll uh, put the whole forty five minutes out. And it'll be called See You Next Year. <laughs> What's our favorite song off the new record to play? Um, well, we only played them a few times. I would have to say See You Next Fall for me because I don't have to think at all. I can just keep going. Yeah. Um, mine's probably... I like Enemy of My Enemy. It's so fast. It's insane. Parks Parks wrote that ending on bass. The deadla 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 deadla. Uh, to answer someone's question, asking if I was uh, trying to get some Adam Jones ish stuff. Yes, that was one hundred percent my goal. I wanted a lot of the guitar to sound like Tool. What about Thanks George for noticing. Kush, dude? Dude. <laughs> yes. 41 uh, Massive Attack Angel. That's cool because that was our walk on song in the Ghost. Yeah, wait. What Talk about that? Who said what about Massive Attack? 
Somebody said that Wong's reminds him of Massive Attack, Angel. That was our walk-on song during the Ghost War, wasn't it? Yeah. Nobody really appreciated it on the Ghost Tour. Except for the sound guys, because then they started using that as their PA test song. <laughs> yeah. What what brand of kit and symbols do you use? Uh, on the album, I used like a 60s Gretsch. It was the coolest drum set I've ever played. I tried to buy it, but no one ever responded to me. And then I used a 22-inch uh, a Constantinople medium thin dry. And then I also used a, a 22-inch uh, Crash of Doom on Lights Out. And that was it. I just used one cymbal and a set of hi-hats. Tight. What kind of cool stuff did they have in Studio 2? They had, a, they had a real nice old wood floor. Oh. <laughs> they had a did you just see? Did, did you just see that comment? Somebody asked if Pile influences our, our uh, songwriting. Don't even get me started, dude. <laughs> <laughs> me and Ben have very different opinions on that. I, I'm a fan. So is Parks. Where's Mello? Mello needs to weigh in here. Um, let's see. Abbey Road is cool. I want to go back. Dude, they sell OP1s in the gift shop. I forgot about that. Yeah. That's where all my tour money went. Oh, do you whiten your teeth? No, but I just started using charcoal toothpaste. Wouldn't that make your teeth black? It it, it does for a little bit, and then it goes away. Yeah, just go to Publix or, or wherever you go to grocery shop and just get Tom's charcoal toothpaste. Mm. Someone from the Facebook group wanted me to know if there will be a repression of our mother electricity, maybe someday when we have money. <laughs> Short answer. <laughs> It'll be 10 years in one year. That's crazy, dude. I know. Uh, oh, Memphis. We've blacklisted Memphis. Favorite tour bus story? How about the time that... Uh, the driver got stuck with the police for three days and we had to fly without any of our stuff and borrow shit and rent different cars and drive ourselves around Germany <laughs> and fly to Norway. And we, we had rented gear that I'm pretty sure was from the local guitar center. Yeah. Brand new guitars. Yeah. Boston, Massachusetts. Yeah. That's a place. Um, well, you Drum influences. The, uh, Nick Mason. I used to watch live at Pompeii when I was a kid in my dad's basement. I would put on a headband and I would just play drums to that over and over again. Nice. Somebody asked what kind of surfboard I ride. I ride a hand-shaped board from Shea Lopez. He's a Gulf Coast, Florida Gulf Coast X pro surfer and now he makes really good boards and it's a five six it's real small are we planning on visiting mexico yes we were supposed to be there in march but all this fucking sickness stopped that knoxville blacklisted after the flaming monitor next to rob um yeah that pizza <laughs> that place was is. awesome <laughs> dude the, the yeah how many pizza places have, have we played? Um, professionally, way too many. Remember that place in uh, Eugene, Cosmic Pizza? That was fucking yeah. shit show, dude. For all the bands out there, if you can <laughs> avoid playing pizza shops, you should try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey. Real quick, is 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 Parks trying to get on here? Parks way in. Yeah, we have to wait for his request. We're trying to get him on. 
Um, thank you for for digging the end of rats, commenter. That means that means a lot. And to answer someone's questions earlier, yes, it is slide. If I chose any guitar in the world to own, what would it be? Um, probably my Les Paul. Or one of Jerry Garcia's crazy looking guitars. That would be really sweet. You, you'd do good with that guitar. One of I know. What are those even called? I forget. He's got a special name for them. I don't know. Greeny. Hmm. I don't know what that means. Robbie, more art for sale? Yeah, we'll get to it. Um, can we get the chords to Everest? Ben Sony. Who's your favorite Ford. sister? Uh, my 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 sister just just asked me who my favorite sister was. That's fucked up. That's dirty. I can't answer that. I can't answer that. Uh, chords to Everest. I can probably get a tab. I don't real. I don't. I'm not good at chords and stuff. Like so actually, good. I'm interrupting you. Sorry. No, 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 no. It's fine. What what did they say about Bonner? Oh, that that was like one of their favorite shows. That was a sweet show. What about seeing Gojira after us? Because that was fucking crazy. Yeah. We need to play with Gojira in Mexico. Yeah, we do. And and South America. Yep. If if anybody out there has those connections, dude, we have wait. Those connections. We have those connections. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, Favorite albums of all time? Bitches Brew. In a Silent Way. Yeah, that's a great one. What about Abraxas? That's pretty good. Someone just asked if Ghost influenced Lights Out. Did they? I don't know. <laughs> Ben, do you ever um, sing on a record again? I don't know. Maybe not all the witches. I just saw a question if I'm good at playing guitar, and the answer is yes. Hey, Parks is trying to get in. All right, I'm tapping out. Okay. Or I'll come, do you want to come back? Do you want to stay on with Parks? Well, no, because you, you're hosting it. Because then. Uh, all right. All right. All right. We're going to get Parks in. I'm tapping out for a minute. Hang tight. Parks, request in. Favorite Wilco album, uh, Ghost is Born. Hmm. I'm trying to get parks in. Everybody just be patient. Yes, we listen to Tool. Of course. Uh, Mikey Allred mixed the album. He also mixed and produced Dying Surfer. What band would you recommend to people that haven't heard? What band that people haven't heard? This band called Slift. They're from France. They're my favorite band right now. Parks, um, I don't know how, how how to do it either. Who are Adam and Mandy? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Bam. Add. All right, Parks, I sent you a request. Here comes Parks. Parks?
Are you, are you here? I can hear you, but I can't see you. Dang. Can you see me? Oh, man. Having trouble getting parks in here. Um, favorite Color Haze album. I just saw that. The album called All. That's my favorite one. It's so good. All right. Trying to get parks back in. Favorite guitarist of all time, Hendrix. Hurricane. Damn. I can hear you, Parks. No. Damn. How are you? Oh, ever listen to Cloud Kicker? Yeah, he's one of my favorite musicians. The album he just put out is Unreal. And the remaster of Subsume. <laughs> what song is boring to perform live? Uh, Proud Mary. Let's see. Rob, if you're watching, I'm having a hard time getting Parks in. Oh, here we go. Parks? What about now? What's up? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, dude? This park's trying to connect through a Ouija board. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Dude, it, look, it, looks, it looks great. What's up, guys? All right, every, I'm, I'm going to go get a drink of water. Everybody ask parks questions. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Hi. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go this as fast. They were really slow reading this comment. This is so cool. All right. I'm a Sergi True. Hi, Pahadi Bawa and Jahil6420. You talk about the CNX Fall intro. Yeah, it's a bunch of loops. This is really fast. Wish he was in Brazil. Favorite bass line? Um, the enemy of my enemy bass line is probably one that was uh, – sticking around the most we were doing that i was doing that at soundtrack but then that's like that this may be the most fun to play also the harmonizing bass line for 41 is good because i like how it, it uh goes with ben's guitar so let's just say i like that too Park. rounds and we all think of religion in a different way i think the park's calling in on a potato yeah that's me what's your string gauge it's string gauge damn I my string gauge is i use on my base i use half rounds so diodario half round um and they are i think the heavy string is like 105 maybe or 110 i can't remember so okay what's yeah. the rick and bacher story i don't think i'll ever story? use a different string than a half but... what's what's the rick and bacher story the rick story yeah the rick story is uh one day robbie no one day i was nosing around in fanny's house of music in nashville and uh, i found that bass just 
somewhere off of the floor. I was somewhere where I wasn't supposed to be, I think. And I saw it and I asked the owner about it and it was too much. I couldn't afford it. She gave me a, a really big break and I traded her an amplifier for it. So that's the Rick story. Um, it's all cut up because the person who owned it before me was a left-handed bass player and uh, they cut off the horn to relieve weight and part of the headstock and some other things. So when I got it, it had already been switched back to right hand. And that is the Rick story. What else you got? Someone wants to know if you're vegan. Damn, there's a lot of questions. I'm not. I was a vegetarian for five years. And the day that I stopped being vegetarian was Ben had a house party and he made uh, pulled pork sandwiches. And I think I ate three pulled pork sandwiches after not eating meat for five years. Oh, Jeff, the bro Jeff, the brotherhood stolen guitar story. Jeff, the brotherhood stolen guitar story. Okay. Uh, we were in between tours and I didn't have a place to live. So I would go and sleep in my truck at the Walmart and I wake up really early anyway, anyways. So I woke up and I would go hit pawn shops and things. And uh, the pawn shops had just opened. So it was like nine in the morning, nine or 10 in the morning. And I just went into to one down the street from the Walmart and I saw these guitars and I didn't know that they were theirs. Kind of. They looked, they looked familiar, so I, I contact. And then, so I, by that point. While the police. They're like custom built guitars from, from Dave, uh, scale model guitar, scale model guitars in Nashville. So yeah, that is the Jeff, the brotherhood stolen guitar story. Love it. Someone just asked, uh, most memorable ATW shows. Lay, how do you say that venue? It was the one that only had one exit. It was in a basement. Uh, the mechanic. The mechanic ondulatoire. Yeah. Uh, ondulatoire. So there, there was only one way off of the stage and, uh, after the show, and that was through the crowd. So we all just crowd surfed to the exit. <laughs> that was pretty fun. I did not crowd surf. I've only crowd surfed one time. Hmm. I don't remember how I got out of there, but I did crowd surf. Um, let's see. The most, my most memorable shows, probably the hell tour where we were all sick. I think about the Chicago show where Ben sat down. That's one of my most memorable shows. And, uh, and Grant was puking behind the board and you had a trash can next to you on stage. Mm -hmm. And when I was sick a couple of days later, that was, that's a super memorable show, Minneapolis or something. And, uh, that was bad. <laughs> that was awful. Um, the one in, uh, Toronto, at least palace where the power went out, that was pretty memorable. Yeah. We played for 30 minutes and, um, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, the last there's some, also some big shows. I mean, Red Rocks is super memorable. Mm -hmm. I liked Hellfest. Hellfest was yeah, cool. Hellfest was sweet. Um, the first time playing Greece in Tel Aviv, I like I almost cried during the first whole song. I couldn't believe it. Um, yeah. <laughs> do you enjoy ATW as a three piece? Parks. Yeah, some days. Some days I don't even enjoy ATW. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, we we won't 
and get into uh, keyboard stuff. Um, let's see. Favorite tuning. Whatever's in tune. That's my favorite. Yeah. Yeah, as long as it's in tune, it's pretty good. Who's the guy on top? <laughs> oh, man. Did you know that when you Google... When you Google all the when you Google all the witches on the Wikipedia page, it says members: Robbie Stabler, Charles Michael Parks Jr., and Alan Van Cleve, and that's it. It says, it, uh, and the thing it says it's an American rock band. Can you know of all of us? I said Jonathan Draper left the band, but it says nothing about Alan. Alan, Wikipedia yeah. is crazy, man. You can yeah. put whatever you want. Huh. Uh, to answer that guy's anybody. question. Yeah, anybody can. That's the thing. Uh, what? Ooh. question. I, how do you say your last name? I think it's pronounced Parks. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pronounced Stabla. Yeah. My guitar face. People Robbie like my Stabla. guitar face. Very serious. <laughs> you pronounce my last name McLeod. Like if a cloud was on a on like a McDonald's dollar menu. McCloud. <laughs> We're killing it as a three piece. Oh. Awesome. Cool. It's fun. Lots of trio vibes. It says what's his internet connection room and slow signals. <laughs> Parks' internet connection runs on smoke signals. It's funny. Sean Bastard. Yeah, you're not you're not far off, man. Parks, what's your biggest influence on this record? My biggest influence on this record, man, I have no idea. I don't even remember what I was listening to. I don't usually listen to a lot of music before we go into the studio. So, because I don't like, I don't like to feel like I've colored it with, with things I've been listening to, which I will. Um, it's just natural. You know, you just grab things you like and kind of squish them around. So I don't know who I was, I don't know who to say. I'm not sure. Your mom. Somebody just said that you have to crank the internet wheel. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, hmm. That's because Ben lives in Florida, Robbie lives in California, and I live somewhere in the southern United States. Hmm. Got to crank the internet wheel back at town but i'm not driving to town so you got to put in quarters <laughs> you got to go to the courthouse and put in an order for it mm -hmm. um let's see how do you guys put out awesome albums so fast i don't i mean there's a couple that are not as awesome as others uh I don't know. I think touring a That's lot. That's true. Touring a lot spawns creativity, in my opinion. Oh, high watts. Am I sticking yeah, with the Yeah, I would say touring. Opinion? Sorry. Touring. <clears throat> yeah, Someone that's a good answer. Know. Touring. Yeah. Uh, I'm... I'm only going to be playing High Watts in Europe unless R from High Watt is, sends me them in America. Yeah, come on, R. No, no, no pressure. Um, <laughs> contemporary bands that are there meanings behind your your lyrics? Yes. 
Do tell. I don't know. Yeah, there's meanings. I don't know what to say. Tons. How do you write your lyrics? I write them with a pen and paper mostly. Uh, if if they ever get out of my head, they go on pen and paper. Um, oh, oh yeah, what guitars did you use on the album, Ben? Uh, I mainly use my Nags Honga, which is it's like a SG, and then I I I doubled everything. So it was the Nags and then the Les Paul doubled together and then i think all of out, every solo was the nags does the high watt 50 sound louder than a twin uh nothing is louder than a twin no yeah but the high watt 50 sounds, twin. sounds great you do think it's louder it is pretty loud the no. the hunt oh it's not no. The 100 yeah. watt one is, I think I'm going to get a 100 watt combo. That's what I want, Arv. Um, All right. Oh, how many mushrooms did you guys take before See You Next Fall, Parks? Um, I ate, I don't know, a, a normal amount, but I did fall asleep. I fell asleep while we were playing, doing that jam. So there's somewhere in the 45 minutes where I uh, drifted off, <laughs> sitting down. So, um, you oh, know, yeah. a normal amount of mushrooms to eat. Hmm. We actually use, oh, do you think rock do you like dead the new, or dying? Do you like the new Idols songs? Yes. 100%. Absolutely. I haven't heard them, but I'd be excited to hear them. They're like so Idols. sick. They're so sick. Um, unfortunately, so I'm going to be a DJ at this local college radio station, and uh, I can't play a single Idol song. Why? Because they... They they curse. Oh. Think they don't curse at colleges? They curse in Florida. <laughs> I heard them curse in Florida. Do they curse in Arkansas? Hell yeah. Do we curse in Arkansas? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh I'm man, in the southern United States. <laughs> <laughs> any um any advice on an up, upcoming band getting started well unfortunately upcoming band um the number one thing that you need to do is tour and that's just not going to happen right now so you're just going to have to be patient and just play a lot yeah well honestly we don't you know, we don't know what the best advice is aside from touring. I mean, the new world order of music is, you know, make music how you can and get it to who you who you can, however that's possible, you know. So our method was touring, and I still think that's a great idea, but if nobody can tour, then, you know, do whatever you can to get people to hear it. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Like, the the insane touring route is just what worked for us. But yeah, there's, there's yeah. obvious, there, 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 there's other ways. Hmm. Yeah. Coyote Woman. Who's who's Coyote yeah. Woman? Greta Van Fleet. <laughs> Greta Van Fleet? Question mark. What was the Greta Van Fleet question? <laughs> That's it. It just says Greta Van Fleet. Oop. Nice. They're they're massive fans of all the witches. <laughs> Is that true? That's not true. No, I totally made that up. Um, okay, good. Does this mean you're an official Florida man? Damn right. 
I was I, I was always a Florida man. Well, would you go on tour with a huge rock band, Foo Fighters, Stone Temple Pilots? Well, can't go to on tour with Stone Temple Pilots because uh, they don't exist. And um, I mean, I would say Primus is a huge band. I I don't know, like and Ghost, Ghost. That's a huge band. We've been on. I I don't know. I like bar. I like bar tours. Basically, yeah. I like playing I like, a bar room. I like headlining. Yeah. Hmm. Can't Still say Scott Weiland's ghost came back and said, "Hey, we're getting we're getting Stone Temple Pilots back together, and we want you guys to open." I'd probably play for Scott Weiland's ghost. Yeah. No. Um. Hmm. How was touring with Mastodon and Primus? It's fine. Yeah. It had its ups and downs. It, it's hard when you're a young band, and we're we were grateful to have these big slots, but at the same time, monetarily, it's hard, uh, especially if you're not on a bus. I mean. If you're in a van and trailer and you're on a bus tour, you are chasing buses. So we didn't get to do a lot of hanging around and hanging out. We'd always have to leave and, and try to get as far as we could, as fast as we could, so we could even make it to the show on time the next day. So, um, yeah, if you're on a bus, I mean, I don't know. I've never toured on a bus. Uh, but... Yeah, that's what it's like being on tour with a big band if you're a young, if you're a smaller band. Um, it's, I mean, it's crazy seeing like famous people walking around, <laughs> walking around. That's really wild. I mean, I listened to Primus ever since I was a kid, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Being on a big tour is weird. You got to be ready to step up and take control of what you're doing and what your message is and uh, who's working for you and. Um, you got to get along with other people's crews. That's that's just how it is. Somebody just asked um, how we feel about people on their cell phones at shows, and uh, it's a big bummer for me, like a huge bummer. It's, it's such especially a, it's such a fucking bummer, especially when you're in the front row and. Or you're looking at someone and they're in the front row and they're on their phone. It really sucks. It sucks. I used to like, I used to, well, I shouldn't say that I used to, but there's been times where I'll like put my hand in front of someone's screen just to get their attention. I did that a couple times. Yeah. Don't do that. You end up confiscating a couple phones. It's also like you're taking video or something and you're going to look at it like one time maybe and you've missed the show because your phone's up and it's like you like you paid the money to go to the show to watch it on your cell phone. It seems just not only is it disrespectful to those around you and this, but it's kind of it's not really monetar monetarily like beneficial to you. Um, I, I don't know. I don't like cell phones at concerts. I don't like cell phones anyways. But cuz on on tour you spend all day waiting for the show and you're psyched. And then yeah. Even seeing one person on their phone is uh anyway. Uh moving on. Yeah. Do a couple more questions. Sure. Um, how about I do another one and then you do another one and then we call it a day. Sure. Cool. Um, I'll go first. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I've, I've, I have to wait for a good one. A really good one. Mm. 
would sacrifice several farm animals to hear you guys at Emos and Tony's again. Please don't do that. No, don't. <laughs> I see a couple about the pedals. I, I see a couple about the pedals that I'm using on my board, and I wonder if it's for like, I don't know. For for this record, I used two Greer amplifier little Samson overdrives. I used uh, those two and I stacked them. Usually I do like an overdrive and a fuzz, an octave, a, a sub-octave fuzz, but um, for some reason I, le I left that in America and I didn't take it to Abbey Road. Um, and a reverb. I mean, basically my sound is, is overdrive, fuzz, and, and reverb. And I don't use everything else. It's just the dynamics from the, the finger play and and the pick and uh, switching off those. So my favorite overdrive is a rear little Samson. And I use an MXR submachine for fuzz. I don't remember what else I tried. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna answer one more. Somebody just asked, craziest fan moment. I think it was the second time we played London and we walked off stage and a fan ran on stage and ran into our, our uh, green room and he was like out of his mind and he like sprinted back there, like got, got past security and he just kept yelling, you changed my life, you changed my life, you changed my life. <laughs> That's probably the craziest. That's crazy. We well, there's another like, like, fan running on stage moment in Paris. Right? That guy was mad. Somewhere mm -hmm. in France. He, he got on stage and he started. The whole thing stopped. We stopped and the crowd stopped and nobody knew exactly what to do. This guy was screaming. And... Uh, and a bunch of people came out. I mean, and obviously it was something bad because everyone, whoa, oh, no, no, and they pulled him off the stage. But uh, people came out. I was like, oh, that guy's actually really nice. He's a really nice guy. He was just on acid or something. He was freaking out. But he was screaming awful things at us in French that I didn't know what he was saying. So uh, there's my been a lot of favorite. crazy fan moments. Yeah. Before we sign off, my other favorite on stage weird moment was – we were playing in Huntington, West Virginia. And there was this this guy who we met at a gas station before the show, and we invited him to the show. He was, like, running for mayor or, like, congressman or I, I, I forget. And he was driving this. He was this, Yeah, he was running for some sort of position. Yeah, and he uh, his, his license plate just said NAM. And his spoiler on his car was a ladder. And we invited him to the show. And he, like, showed up and stuff. And because we personally invited him, uh, he he came on stage middle of the set just to thank us for inviting him and to let us know that he had to leave. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> His name was his name was uh, Dino Batista, and he was running for yes. some sort of um, uh, yeah, some sort of like city council, something or other, and it, it was like an old Trans Am that was uh, red, white, and blue, and the red and white were rattle can spray paint job, and the blue was all painters tape, and the spoiler was a ladder, and the license plate said Vietnam. Yeah, <laughs> Vietnam. <laughs> Vietnam. We waited outside this damn coffee spot for like 20 minutes waiting for this guy to come out so we could take a picture with his car. We finally had to go in and get him because he was just sitting there reading the paper and eating donuts and drinking coffee. But, uh, yeah. But Anyway. Well. Um. I guess Look that's down. it for now. Maybe we'll do this again. I know I've been baking in the sun.
it's been it's been nice. Anyway, I miss you. <laughs> I miss you. Silence. <laughs> you, 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 I know. I know that you miss me too. Okay. All right, everybody. Thank you. Oh, I said it. Oh, you did. <laughs> okay. I was feeling like really sad. Yeah, I said it. Nice. All right, everybody. Yeah. Take care. Uh, have a good Labor Day weekend if you're in America and uh, enjoy your Sunday and thanks for digging the album it means a lot a lot of awesome feedback so cheers <laughs>